That's most important. Keeping our spirits on the up and up. But at the end of the day, he's got that body type where he's a rhino in the midfield. Mr. Biscuits. And I love a biscuit. Oh, my goodness. Let me sign this man up. Put him into the starting 11. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and welcome back. Thank you for joining us on the YouTube channel. It is free, as always, to subscribe, to turn on notifications, to be involved, to stay involved. And today, we're talking La Liga. We're ranking all of the players from the top tier selection, the highest rated. You know how you get down with the get down on this channel. I'm not going to hold you up. I already know there's going to be a lot of debate. I've got some controversial selections. If you're enjoying the content and you want more of it, it's simple. Drop a like, hook it up on the algorithm. We appreciate you here. Please stay beautiful. That's most important. Keeping our spirits on the up and up. Especially with a year like 2020. I got you. This is coming in quick fire. You've been warned. Hot fire. 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 That was a code for put fire on screen. That's that's what I was saying. Burning up. Smoke central. No alarm. And I can't get a PS5. I am trying so hard to get a damn PS5. I might just buy the Xbox first at this point. I wasn't ready for the release. I had to check out. I ran it through. And they said, no, we are out of stock now. Sorry, brother. PS5 pre-order is not going well. That's what I'm trying to say. Pareo, 50 pace, no pre -recs. I'm not gonna front. The bottom five or six players, simply interchangeable or easy to maneuver back and forth. They're not gonna get a lot of love, is what I'm saying. Busquets, Mr. Biscuits, and I love a biscuit. Oh my goodness. Growing up down south, a little buttery biscuit. You needed that as the helper. Fried chicken. Oh, there's certain things that I do miss. David Silva. He's aging. Moved to a less notarized club. And even at his peak, he wasn't climbing the FIFA mountain. We keep things very transparent. Still a world-class midfielder. Jesus Navas. And he could be on a stock rise. It does depend on the gameplay because he's not big, tall, or physical. And we can't confirm just yet how important that's going to be in terms of these fullbacks when we're going into factoring their capabilities on the virtual pitch. But right now, right here, I believe in wing play and crossing being a focal point. Tony Cruz. I would love to be wrong, but I'm just not. I'm hoping for some sort of pace promo or pace merchant because he has other statistics that do make you happy. We're talking about shot selection, the weak foot, spraying the ball around. Kind of falls into that Pirlo-esque where he's not a true attacking midfielder, but he's also not built to be a defensive mid or even a box-to-box. -box. Sits a little bit deeper and can facilitate the attack. PK, he has a better FIFA rep compared to some of the previous players up to this point, but I don't love the bait. I've never really and truly been on board with PK. I've never been on that cruise ship. He's always lacked some of that athleticism that I'm after for my defenders. But at the same time, we have seen promos and we have seen him overachieve to a certain degree. I know many of you that liked his team of the season foot item and myself included because it was such a good value pickup last year. He had that scream promo. We put that in the motion. Iago Aspis. Overpowered potential is there. But from a mid to long term planning program, he's not going to fit into that equation. It's always been this way. So it's kind of early addition or bust. Koke. And I will say this I co signed the majority of my list going forward from this point. A little less debatable in terms of them being good versus being disappointing or concerning or you having that skepticism. But then it just comes down to who's really going to fit into the squad, who's going to make a difference for you. There's always personal preference. I'm just saying there's less debate as to the quality from this point going forward. I hope that makes sense. Was that a proper recap? It's simple. Koke is one inform away, or maybe a promo, from really and truly being in the mix. He's got a lot of balanced statistics. Central midfielder. We're trying to make that FIFA legacy. Party. We're going to have a party. No Jamie Vardy. Not gonna be invited. <laughs> Four stat lines. 80 plus on a base item. He's gonna put in that work. I'm not talking nine to five. We're getting that overtime as well. Also, Party is a FIFA historian. I like to talk about previous iterations and success stories, and he's got that. We've seen him in squads. We've seen him make a difference. We've also seen upgrades. All of this has worked 
for that FIFA goodness. Oblak. I, I don't debate his ability as a goalkeeper until we really had weekend leagues and a lot of experience because we deal with consistency with goalkeepers. At least that's how you should measure the goalkeeper in your squad. But he's so difficult to link. Even though he has the rating, he's going to be the lowest on my countdown of goalkeepers within La Liga. And you do have options. We'll keep the trend moving. Courtois, told you, preference play. I prefer him. And he's much easier to get into squads. I don't have to shift the team. Casemiro, 89 overall. But at the end of the day, he's got that body type where he's a rhino in the midfield. He's turning left. He's turning right. No notification. And in FIFA 21, with what we've seen firsthand or experienced with gameplay, you're still going to need balanced midfielders. Ideally, you want players that not only can play defense, but they can go forward. They can progress your attack. And that's where Casemiro struggles. I don't care about all the statistics. You're not going to shift that he's clunky. When you go to the grocery store, you got two types of peanut butter. You get that smooth, buttery, or you got the one with extra peanuts. It's chunky. Casemiro fits into that category. Kareem, the dream, needs more pace or it's going to be more of a nightmare at least compared to the rest of his statistical allocation. I'm a Benzema fan. In fact, I think he's actually been underrated throughout a lot of his career. I believe in you, Benzema. Harvey Hall, another one of those players who is, is one inform away from being undoubtedly a strong contender for his position. Top 10, Griezmann. He's not made to be a winger, so he lost a little bit of versatility. He's just not fast enough. But as a center attacking mid or a striker, especially early on, when you see 85 shooting, and we know about that finesse shot, he's going to be proficient. It's just a matter of how much is he going to cost you up front. Modric, even though I can feel the decline right here in my heart. If you are able to pair Modric up with a gladiator or a brunt in the midfield, that's possible. That's feasible. And it will work both short term and at least mid term into FIFA. You might struggle as new items get introduced just because Modric isn't going to feel as quick as he once was. But he still has the class and the general precision that you're looking for in a FIFA installment or with a midfield partnership in a FIFA installment. Jordi Alba. This is always uh, a weird discussion, at least for yours truly. On paper, statistically, the past three or four seasons, it looks like he should be the guy, especially considering he has so much pace, but he doesn't have that it factor. Something is missing. I know he's not the most physical, but maybe it deals with positioning. He doesn't match up well in competitive gameplay, whether that's division rivals or the weekend league, and that's why he's not on a constant or a regular rotation. Ter Stegen, game changer. I know, it's a new year, and we can't guarantee what he accomplished and showcased in FIFA 20 is going to transcend to FIFA 21. But just off the strength of his previous president, he has to be in the top 10 for me. I'm not going to disrespect Ter Stegen. That's my logic. Long lay. I'm feeling this pickup. Not always talked about nearly enough, but I'm all about the lay. Let me sign this man up. Put him into the starting 11. He might end up being the defender, especially if we're talking about early investments in FIFA 21. Welcome to New York City. That sounds like a boat. Are we riding a boat right now? What's going on? Summertime is done. Ramos, we know what this is all about. Remake and replicate. Ramos' baseline item is no longer at the top, top tier, the upper, upper echelon. But if he gets the upgrades, which we saw with player moments, we saw with team of the season, then he's at that next level or that next gen. But he's still gonna be solid. Deserves to be where he's gonna be, but no surprises. Frankie De Jong, deadly De Jong. And that pace is legit at an 80. If you wanna go into those in detail, in depth, statistical breakdown allocation, he gives you everything other than a reliable goal converter. De Jong stayed consistently amazing in FIFA 20. I expect more of the same in FIFA 21. Hazard. And this is risky. I'm yet to maximize a Hazard in three consecutive FIFA installments. If anything, I often talk about him being overrated. But we have seen pace reductions in FIFA 21. And Hazard's still pushing that 88. He's got an agenda. And he's got 92 dribbling. And he should be constantly threatening. But I could see Hazard also starting to stock drop. Veron. It's relatively simple. Strength, size, pace, French. All this lines up for indicative good results. Ah.
And at number one, could it really be anyone other than Messi in La Liga? It has to be, even though sprint speed's been shot, 80. Stamina, 72. Both problematic. And when you're spending this type of price tag, of course, that should come into the equation or the argument. You've got to weigh pros and cons, but no one is touching Messi in this league, in my humble opinion. Thanks again for watching. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree? Disagree? Where does it get more debatable? We've got some strong opinions in this video, and I'm here for it. And I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Please turn on notifications. This is just the beginning.